Hello, welcome everyone to the third lesson of topic three on the sustainability of water management in the agri-food sector. In this third le lesson, some opportunities and challenges of water reuse will be discussed. The main objective of this third lesson of topic three is to show advantages and some aspects still to be solved to facilitate the reuse of water within the agri-food sector. For this, both the perspective of sustainability and regulation will be taken into account. This slide shows the historical evolution of water reuse in agriculture, a practice that was already carried out in the Bronze Age. At present, reuse has, one, has once again gained momentum given the need to meet, among other aspects, to the demand for both water and nutrients for agriculture. Currently, the main, challenge, uh, main challenges related to the management of water resources have to do with the increase in world population, which increases the pressure on available resources, guaranteeing fair and equal access to water, and reducing or eliminating associated environmental impacts. Faced with this situation, there is a consensus that the agri-food sector has the potential to contribute to overcoming these challenges. The objective of including sustainability in water management in the agri-food sector is the recovery of the resources present in the water, mainly energy, nutrients and reclaimed water. In this way, the sector will contribute, will contribute to reducing its impact and conserving conventional sources. At the European level, level this strategy is being supported and promoted by a whole set of regulations and documents adopted in recent years and in combination with others that already existed, whose objective is to maximize the recovery of resources and promote economic activity, guaranteeing the sustainability of all the processes involved. This slide shows some, some of the documents involved in the recovery of water, energy and nutrients. The interest in promoting reuse at the European level is based on data such as those shown here. In the case of water, the European Union already finds itself with a significant proportion of its population and territory affected by droughts and forecasts indicate that the situation will worsen. However, the European Union still has the possibility of multiplying by six the amount of water that is reused so it has a significant margin to increase the use of this non-conventional resource. The agri-food sector would be one of the great beneficiaries if the availability of this resource increase. Regarding fertilizers, on the one hand, the production of nitrogenous fertilizers involves a high energy and environmental cost. On the other hand, the European Union lacks phosphorus mines and is therefore dependent of in its import. Therefore, the nutrients present in the water could contribute to alleviate these problems and uh, contribute to the security of its supply. Finally, as already mentioned in lesson two, anaerobic treatments make it possible to convert the organic matter present in wastewater into methane that is, into energy. The agri-food sector is considered a key player in increasing biomethane production and, therefore, for the energy security of the European Union. There are already a variety of technological solutions that make it possible to convert waste, including wastewater, into a source of resources that contribute to the environmental and economic sustainability of the agri-food sector. For example, the anaerobic membrane bioreactor technology is used in the dairy and industry to treat its waste streams and obtain reclaimed water and energy that is used in the same plant to improve the energy balance and reduce carbon footprint. Another example at the farm level is the use of anaerobic digesters to treat manure and agricultural residues from which it is possible to obtain energy in the form of methane and heat nutrient-rich water for fertigation and a solid fraction rich in phosphorus that can be used as fertilizers. The 
brief summary of challenges and opportunities can be found in the following slides. Reuse flow management, for example, to adapt the production of reclaimed water to agricultural seasonal needs, distribution, storage, charge in quality, etc. Development of appropriate methodologies that the elaboration and application of risk management plans. Guarantee health and environmental safety, for example, against pathogens, nutrient management, priority substances, soil salinity, etc. Coordination between stakeholders involved in water reuse and resource recovery chain. Establish a favorable regulatory framework to resource recovery, sustainability, and circular economy. Some opportunities also are that water reuse represents a driver for a comprehensive resource recovery strategy. Focus on nutrients, energy, and reclaimed water. Appropriate nutrients management at farm level implies prevention of nitrous pollution. Implementation of sustainable technology for water reclamation and recovery of resources to improve the uh, economic balance of the, of the agri-food sector. Water, energy and fertilizer recovery and the reuse allows economic savings which improve financial sustainability of the agri-food sector as well. Reuse strategies bring the production of resources closer to the place of use. Reuse of water allows uh, leveraging the resources of the waste streams to reduce the carbon footprint of the agri-food sector. And finally, reuse contributes to re reserve of conventional sources and avoidance of resource depletion. Here you have some references. And thank you for your attention.